Hello, welcome back to another pressing tutorial video. Um, over the past few weeks, I got this question a few times from viewers, and I figured I might as well shoot a video to uh, have a show and tell. The question was Do I need to steam both sides of the cover, or have I ever? feel a need to steam both sides of the cover and the answer is yes sometimes I do sometimes it's not necessary and here is one of those situations that I always always steam both sides of the cover you see this indentation on the cover okay someone wrote silver Okay, and it's a whole bunch. You see the whole bunch of uh, the check marks. There's a whole bunch of them. Okay. Luckily, none of which broke color, so it can be removed. But when I see something like this, and it's like a deep indentation groove like this, always I flip the page open like this. Okay, and. On, Maybe you can or cannot see it, but it's there. You can feel it for sure, okay? I will flip it open like this. Make sure I know what spot the indentation is. And then give it a same two or three seconds of the steam, okay? Put the steamer, aim the steamer right where the spot is for two or three seconds. Close the cover. Do the same thing in the front for two or three seconds. And that's it. And usually that should be sufficient to get the optimal result. So let me try that and show you the book after I give it the treatment. Okay, so I just want to make sure you can see the flaw there as well as the indentation here and there. Okay, be right back. Okay, we're back. Literally 30 minutes later, I basically did what I outlined, steaming both sides of the, the spots that have the indentation. And 30 minutes under the press and a proper cool down. And that's it. Look at that. All gone, right? Easy peasy, right? Very simple. So there you go. That's a perfect example of when I would steam both sides of the cover. Now this is a gorgeous, at least 8.5, maybe even higher. That's a little ding up there, but yeah, gorgeous copy. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.